like it's so easy to say that you failed to do something or you messed up something because someone else was responsible for that but we don't realize the many times we sabotage ourselves so i bring you a story time on how i sabotaged myself three times guys one two three times stick around <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Redefine Gospel YouTube channel where we are thriving in Christ. This channel seeks to link the word of God to the contemporary times and ultimately ensure we are thriving in Christ. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So yes, it's story, story, story time. And uh, we, used to <laughs> we used to say this when we were young. Okay, I'm laughing and I've not even made a joke yet. I hope you laugh. So... We used to make this joke when we were young, uh, not joke, but we had like a line before a story. Story, 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 come. So since you're watching and I probably do not, how do I put it, will not hear you. Immediately I say this, just say story, come, and I'll say thank you, okay? Story, story, story. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, first and foremost, if you've not subscribed, there's a red button down here below. You can go ahead and actually click that particular place you subscribe a bell will appear click on that bell so that each time i upload you will get post notifications and thank you very much for doing that so i have had three occasions i sabotaged myself and i'm going to elaborate i want to see how i had actually arranged them but i remember there's a time and i'm going to conceal the names i'm not going to mention the names but the very first one which is a bit older we um, me and my fr a friend of mine and i we actually decided we wanted to do like a training for drama festivals i love film and drama and maybe you, it's not very evident right now on my channel but if you look like my very first video that i posted was a film i did and thank you it got like a, a, a thousand um a thousand what views and i solely produced i acted in it i'm the one who wrote that script yes i love film and drama Maybe very soon you will, you know, will be gracing such kind of content will be gracing this channel. But one thing is that I, I like I am this kind of a person. When there's an opportunity to do with film and drama, I can literally leave everything and actually do it. So we decided with this friend of mine, why not go and train this school? It was a really nice opportunity. And so we went to the school and we had like us did we do a script no we had not done the script yet we are like we went we talked to the teacher so that my friend of mine the friend of mine we were actually going with is an alumni of that school it was a boys school so we decided let us go we went and then we met the teacher and and we did think we'll get that opportunity immediately and that's where the first lesson comes in whenever you want god to do something for you whenever you want an opportunity be prepared for that opportunity you want to travel to america you don't have a passport what are you waiting for go to nyayo house if you're in nairobi if you're in kenya go to nyayo house get that passport and actually go to travel but we're not prepared and our preparedness was in the fact that we didn't know how much you are asking these people so they were like uh so how much do you guys want Oh, when we were coming, we actually thought about it, but we are not given like thought to it. And then we ended up undercharging. And remember, we told those people, we will give you 20K. Uh, we want 20K, like for the both of us, 20K. So each person, 10K, 10K. You will be thinking, eh, hey, Anne, you're so expensive. That's a lot of money. But let me now explain. We used to go and actually, how do I put it, and train these people from Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to Monday to sunday literally it was monday to sunday so it was a quite a distance from campus so i'm done with classes like at 5 30 p.m i'm rushing there by 6 30 p.m i'm there i do the training till 8 p.m then 8 p.m we have to using our own money go and take you know a uh, transport back to parklands and then back it was a back and forth it became so draining and the problem i want you to understand the problem is not even them the people who actually because maybe they say hey this is a cheap deal and these people are coming to really really train so it is a really really nice deal and so they just agreed and they went ahead and i felt like that was a sabotage on my side undercharging it undercharging uh, uh, undercharging undercharging and then ending up to do more work a lot of work without pay and 
this is something that people actually go through when you're doing like for example if you're um you always wanted a certain opportunity so you see that opportunity like i've always wanted opportunity x so i go there and because i don't want to be removed from the list not to be shortlisted i go and undercharge you sabotage yourself you just undercharge you know you're the one sabotaging yourself those people are not responsible so you go undercharge yourself and then at the end of the day there's nothing you're getting in return like you're draining yourself more and there's no benefit you're getting instead you're just draining yourself it is important to get exposure don't get me wrong it is important to get exposure but guys don't sabotage yourself like that that was that was instance one now we go to instance two so instance two was um i got like a facebook message when i was doing podcasting and uh, a certain a certain company let me let me not even specify but a certain company approached me and was like would really love to work with you and all those things and we we met and there were terms and there were conditions and they were like you are we are a young company guys at you guys <laughs> we are a young company and so we will not be paying but you will need to be coming in and i was to be reporting to work okay my work was to i was doing like a certain kind of work here one hour i don't want to like give all the details like a one hour kind of work or kind of like per day and it was like around five no four four a.m two hours actually four a.m to six a.m and I needed to go there so on my own transport on my own accord on my own like I was to do actually do that that was not a bad thing like it was something I was like this is a nice experience for me to actually be having um let me just say a show it is a show every day from 4, 4 a.m to 6 a.m it was like it's fine it's okay but it reached a point these people had actually shifted to another place a location like those people who know like parklands like they shifted from parklands to Ngong Road so those guys are in Ngong Road and because they are in Ngong Road that actually means it's a further distance and I the reason I'm saying I sabotaged myself is because I am the one who insisted like these people are like you know we have shifted all the way to I think they will see what I was not seeing like they will see the amount of sacrifice and the amount of work I need to do I don't have a car you know you can't use like public means at that time and all that so they they had foreseen that and they were like i don't think this opportunity will still be valid but i was like this opportunity is from god i really need to you know take this opportunity and you know sometimes god brings you an opportunity not even god but an opportunity just comes that is so close to what you have always wanted in your life like imagine having a a morning show every day like that's a really grand thing for someone who's like into media like me but then again you are not seeing that like you're not seeing like what is the cost i'm going to pay for this is it worth it like i think even that's the theme of my whole video you won't do this opportunity yes you've always wanted this kind of kind of opportunity but is it worth it but you know i was like mm, I, i'll do it me and then they give, came with the suggestion you can be pre-recording the shows so i used to go like on a thursday i record shows for five days i think i had that book okay it's it's on the tripod but that book like, it used to write shows from monday to friday and i would go record record them put them up there and you know i would literally say guys you're going on a short commercial break see you and then i play the music we are recording and i used to do a lot of work on it but then again now it's not that i have another place i'm getting income from so that means i'm using all my money like almost like i will get really broke because i need sometimes my class is ending at 12 30 pm i need to start recording at 1 pm that means i need to use an uber to go there and i didn't count that cost and i didn't see that i really needed to relax because there was this other option of relax relaxing and waiting waiting for a how do i put it Re, no there was this option of me having shows from monday to wednesday yes there's an option of me having shows from monday to wednesday but because of my over ambitions i'm like no, i can't do the whole week oh so you me. actually it was to do i think money to, it was like a few days that i would actually be able to handle and i'm like no i want you know you're over ambitious you're not even thinking about it because you, you're in the thrill of the moment and sometimes when people are duped because of this because you're not giving it a thought you're not even praying to god like i swear i didn't even pray about this i was like who else could have brought this opportunity to me the other time the other one was i know i had a podcast you know before i started my youtube channel I had a podcast you can see me on soundcloud 
it is called redefined podcast yeah i have some kind of a here and there episodes like i have like maybe 13 14 episodes on redefined podcast i will link that redefined podcast down below and so um nikaji beba and um i went for that meeting and the meeting was like it was really grand you know i was being told that i needed i would i would get okay here i almost sabotage myself at least i had maybe had learned about counting my cost and thinking twice if the deal is too good guys think twice it's not every opportunity it's not every thing that comes your way you need to pick up even if it looks like what you have always envisioned for your life pray about it count the cost see whether you can manage it so that you don't start something and then in the middle of it you fin- you're not even doing it anymore because it started wrong so uh i went for that meeting so when i went for that meeting i uh, was told you know we are going to look for people who are going to give you photo shoots on our own cost so it'll be photo shoot you done photo shoot will do road shows for your podcast okay road show for podcast really but anyway we'll do road show for podcast we'll do so many things for you we will i mean like we will promote will be the ones who i used to record on my phone like record with my phone i didn't used to edit only like the last last days when i when i stopped podcasting i used to have someone edit for me forts brand forts like forts kay i'm going to link down his instagram page he's an amazing graphic designer and editor he's amazing so i used to do that so he's like we'll be producing we'll be editing for you you will and then and then there was a contract like guys i've only been in podcasting for eight months and already have people giving me contracts hello i've made it in like and you know that is what people actually see and you end up in a very bad mess you water down all that you have been doing especially guys in the creative arts so that is what i did okay i didn't sign so i went to a friend of mine and she was excited she was like send it send it send it but i remember i thank god for a very good friend of mine he he read the contract and he was critiquing it he's like i the rights are there as they want to take their rights and you're a lawyer like they're the ones taking their rights and you know that made me think that made me you know pause down and like i didn't contact them or tell them later later they contacted me and they're like oh you went to work with our rival company of ours so we can no longer have you so we'll see you and then i know i wanted the contract clarified before they made that conclusion and we met with them for a meeting at their offices i asked them uh so what exactly did you mean by this clause and they're like so if you leave this particular company the time you will leave you leave us with this podcast and we're the ones to take the name i'm like wow i would have entered into this mess because you know it's wonderful to post on social media that i'm on, on a label for my podcast hello and podcasts are not famous in kenya and already i'm making it so those are my story times guys pray about opportunities you get number two count the cost look at it is it worth it is it worth the sweat is it worth the sacrifice is it worth sacrificing other important things because of this thing is it worth it that is my question and that will be it for this particular story time it's my very first story time probably i don't know which story time will go before the other but we're one of the first sorry times and i really hope you enjoyed it and i really hope you learned something and it made sense like when i was recording at some point i was like oh, is this story even making sense but it's a true story i hope it makes sense yeah so yes that will be it guys if you have not subscribed and already at this point of the video it, it's a sign it's a sign you should subscribe click on that uh subscribe button and that bell to get post notifications comment down below about What you thought about this story time and if you've learned anything ama you have had such kind of an experience yeah as always remember that god loves you a lot and until next week it's a bye bye from me see you bye